Hey there, this is Musa from Me of DC Online. I hope you guys are doing amazing. In this video, I'm going to teach you how to secure your website at Totally Free using WordFence plugin. WordFence is a WordPress plugin. It's an amazing plugin and it's totally free. And I'm going to show you how you can actually using this amazing plugin to secure your website so your website is not getting hacked from the hacker. For as a disclaimer, I better tell you, like, anything can be hacked into the internet, but you're just taking a, a protections, you're just taking a, a shell. So anything happens wrong, you can easily retrieve your website. So WordFence is amazing plugins I've been using for over eight years till since it's, since it's been uh, launching and I researched with that plugin, and this plugin is really great. So this is the WordFence. Let me show you. I'm going to use this plugin, and most of the uh, WordPress monsters they use this plugin for their WordPress protection. This is the plugin. This is an amazing plugin. Very, very amazing plugin. I really like it. They have both paid and free planning system I'm using the free but paid is really recommended but for for now you can use the free one so this is my one of my websites I have several websites that I do blog that I take I, I write up a lot of things and this sites it's a brand new websites that I just built and I'm going to apply the Google AdSense and some affiliate marketing into the from the internet so now I'm going to show you how you can actually install these amazing plugins to your WordPress website and setting is very important and if you if you don't know how to set your plugin and then then it's a it's a big issue so I'm going to show you exactly the way just follow these ways so it will be easy for you to implement this security systems in your Word, WordPress website okay for this I'm going to go to this plugin then add new and then I'm writing down word fence. Then I install it. Okay, so it's installed. Now activate. So after you activate this plugin, you need to give your email. So once anything goes wrong, then you will get a notification. Continue. Yes, then continue. Uh, I'm not going to use the premium license for now so going to click no thanks okay now look this things this plugin has been installed now we are going to set some settings that you have to apply so we are going to go to this this is the WordFence plugin you can see that now after you install it go to the firewall you need to set up a couple of things and go to blocking
Okay. So into the firewall, you can see how many times your site tried to get hacked. It's a brand new setting, so it's not showing any any data at right now. But once you see your site are attacking from the different source, the results would be here, and you can block each IP with the settings default by this default settings this plugin already keep blocking suspicious login already but you need to set some brute forcing that will give advanced blocking system that will help your website to not to get hacked advanced way so we go to tools Not tools, okay, one second. Dashboard. I'm trying to s search where is the brute force. Manage firewall. Okay, so now look, go to firewall and then you will see advanced firewall options, then brute force protecting, red limits, and white listed URLs. So go to, not here, brute force. I normally use this brute forcing so enable the brute force and lock out after how many login attempts try to make it just do and password attempts I normally do one but you can choose two so if you fail if someone failed two times to log in and they tried to two times login and they fail the site will be totally blocked work friends will block that IP for how many hours you can set it more I choose one you can choose one and I do for two months that's the brute forcing that I always use so then save Boom, done. Now, if someone trying to log into my website and they fail two times, because normally it takes two times or three times to break a password. So if, if it's break, then they will be automatically blocked. I better do, you know what? I better do two times. Instead of two times, let's try with one because I don't want to take any risk. It's up to you, but I normally ch I normally follow these steps to applying the brute forcing in WordFans to protect my website, and you can do that the same way. So yeah, that's it. That's all you need to apply these amazing protections for totally free, and uh, you can use it for your website or your clients website couple of things you may need to know like if even you yourself blocked then what will you do so that's why I normally what I do I go to cPanel and then deactivate the the plugin manually then I log into websites and then change the password and then reactivate the plugin that's a different part but for you so you not you do not get blocked yourself I want you to remember the username that you use for your website and the password put it into the secure place so you can always remember them so yeah this is the security software that I always use I want to give you a demo how actually it works 
So I'm going to log out. Let's go to incognito. That's my incognito mood. This is the normal WordPress login link. So now, look, if I tried anything I do. I log in. I failed. Okay, you see my my IP is blocked. So this is how it is saving me. If someone try one time and they fail to log in, they are now blocked for two months. So if I want to unblock me, there is an attempt. You will see yourself like that. If you are a real user, you can type your email. As I am the real user, so I'll get it. Then you can unblock yourself. But your site hack hacker, I mean, who is going to attack your website, he will not able to get the information because he's not registered into this website his 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 email is not here so this is how actually I protecting my websites and this is how I protect my other clients website WordPress website remember this is only for available for WordPress website for next video I'm going to show you how you can have a backup for your WordPress website so if anything happens you can retrieve your website in just a few clicks thank you for watching this video and please don't don't forget to subscribe my channel your subscribing will motivate me uh, and I'll upload more videos it's been 10 years I've been doing with WordPress stuff and I know pretty much everything in WordPress so you, your motivation will give me motivation your your subscribing your liking your commenting will give me motivation to upload more videos for you so you can learn more totally free from me and uh, stay safe stay in home stay blessed thank you so much for watching this video have a wonderful day bye bye